I'm Kay Ward and this is your Dickman Farms Smart Gardening Tip. And I'm here with Peggy Dickman today because she is one of the best for spotting and teaching about this particular instrument. So Peg, what is this that you have been teaching all of friends, colleagues, customers, everybody to use it? What is this? Why do you use it? So friends, customers will say, Peg, my plant, I'm doing everything. I'm watering it, I'm fertilizing it. And, and it's just not, not doing well. And I said, well, tell me, what are you watering it with? It, is this, does this need water? To me, it's very heavy. So show them this, put it in. It's dry, moist, or wet. This one is completely wet. And that tells her not to water it. If it's in the sun or shade, it doesn't matter. It's been over water. Wait a minute though. This one is, this one looks fine. It's got pretty flowers. This one looks fine. Right, and right. look. Oh my gosh, it can just, this one to me is dry. So I tell them it's not even registering that there's water in there. And they oh. just go, oh my gosh. Well, what are you watering with, with this plant? Well, I have my coffee in the morning and I empty it and I put water and I just go like that. That is not enough. So that is why you need this to show if you have overwatered, underwatered. But, wait a minute, wait, 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 why isn't that enough? I mean, that's, that's eight ounces of water right there. Why isn't that enough for this? So it should come through the bottom. Water, when you water something right, yeah. it should come through the bottom so you know you've gotten to the bottom of the roots. You can get the top, you can put this water meter in and it'll say wet on the top, but you jam it right down, it's dry. So you're telling me the first couple of inches, like I'm supposed to go, I don't just put it in the bottom, I have to put it all the way down? Right. Okay, because those couple of inches can show wet, but it's still not wet enough for the day? Correct. So like after I get my coffee cup of water, if I only put it in that top inch, it's gonna register wet, right? But right. if I use the mystery meter the way it's supposed to be, exactly. all the way down. Uh -huh. so I see. People just go crazy with this, and then they'll call in a couple weeks and say, oh my God, I gotta get these great Christmas stocking stuffers, uh -huh. great little birthday presents, or just a gift for a gardener that says, I need help with my plan. I'm doing everything possible that I can. They're not. You need to get this little handy dandy thing. So can I use it only on flowering things? No, you can use it in your garden. You can use it in your planters. Okay, all right. What about like, I have tropical hibiscus and stuff. They'll work? Absolutely. I think every plant, you can put it in your house plants, your foliage plants. Oh wow, cool. African violet. And I think, is there, I mean, are there any instructions to it or just? I think. You just pop it right in. There's no instructions. There's no little off and on button. It just lasts forever. That easy. Well, that makes easy watering. Thank you so much, Peggy, for sharing this smart gardening tip. You're welcome. With those guys. We'll see you soon. See you soon.